Want to know the true secret behind immortality? Or how to get the highest damage per second in Minecraft history? Here are 35 secret Minecraft facts I guarantee you didn't know. By enchanting a sword with looting 3 and then placing it in your opposite hand, you can get triple drops without using any durability. There's always the chance that your villagers will turn into zombies. Before using a weakness potion, try this instead. For efficiency, we can use a piercing 4 crossbow which will allow us to heal all the villagers in one shot. Speaking of crossbows, crossbows are actually one of the most deadly weapons in all of Minecraft. First, load a ton of them on the floor with fireworks, and then by spamming the drop key whilst firing, you make your own DIY machine gun. If you ever turn Minecraft's brightness down to moody, you can see that the light that torches emit actually flickers. This applies to soul torches and even redstone, but you have to look super carefully. Speaking of the word moody, did you know your Minecraft character actually has feelings? This is true, and when you next enter a cave, press F3 to see your mood level. This level increases the longer you stay in a cave, and decreases when you get closer to light. And when this level Level reaches 100%, a random ambience noise will be played as your character starts to go mentally unstable. Mobs can only really see you from a certain distance, and this distance is 16 blocks, but if you wear the same mob head as them, the distance becomes much shorter. Honey is a super sticky substance, so jumping on it can be very hard, and by placing it underneath villagers, we can make sure they never see the light of day again. But why? Creepers are one of the most annoying mobs in all of Minecraft, and when you use a splash potion effect, they become much worse. When they explode they'll leave a lingering effect to the potion you gave them meaning you could easily troll your friends. In real life blue fire is way hotter than orange fire and this is true in Minecraft as soul fire does double the amount of burn damage. But if you place an ice block above the two fire types only orange fire can melt the ice. When slimes multiply their name tags multiply as well so you can get a ton of free name tags. Even if you're playing offline in Minecraft but you're spamming the server you can still get kicked from the game. When the wither fights blazes both mobs want to be higher than each other and they'll just keep flying until they disappear and uh, oh there he goes yep he's gone um well wait what the f smelting items is a good way of gaining experience but what item gives you the least the items are chorus fruit and kelp which only give you 0.1 xp per smelt which means you'd have to smelt another 13,949 to get to level 30 despite the baby versions of mobs in the game there are seven mobs that don't grant any xp when killed this includes snow golems allays tadpoles and even villagers and wandering traders but two mobs have been left out and these can only be found in bedrock and education edition and this is the agent and the NPC. When you place a minecart on a rail, you find that the rail actually isn't connected to it. Which means it has no wheels, but it's meant to be a mine cart, Not a mine floating machine that has no meaning and value. But we're not done yet. Because when you go into normal survival mode, you'll find that you don't actually lose hunger when you enter a minecart. But the minecart must be inactive for this to occur. Have you ever wondered what item has the most crafting recipes? Well, the answer is surprisingly iron ingots with over 34 different things to craft, which is close to oak planks, which is only 32 things to craft. Cake is one of the most fun items in Minecraft because it can not only just be used as food. We can place them on each individual block of every layer in our base, and we can make an easy staircase, which is way more faster than running them up individually. Let's play a game. If you guys think the arrow will go through the nether portal, subscribe in the next two seconds. Okay, you've done that? Okay, here we go. And it goes straight through. But if you go into the nether portal before you shoot it, you'll find the answer is quite different. As you can see, when we go back and we pull out the bow, we can no longer shoot arrows through the nether portal. And this also works for other projectiles like the snowballs. And the arrows I shot earlier can be found on the soul sand, meaning you could actually kill someone without knowing. Foxes always pick up your items when you drop it to them. But don't panic when this happens, because when they start to run away, your first instinct is to try and kill them. But this is not what you want to do if you drop the totem because you'll find if you go to attack it the totem will actually activate leaving you more sad instead both of these minecarts look completely normal but they both act so differently a chest will always face this way and a furnace will always face this way and this doesn't change whether you place it from the other side the only solution that could be is the rail and i tried that as well and it doesn't fix a single thing villagers can spot up to jobs over 32 blocks away but don't be underestimated they are very dumb still by creating a maze, we can easily find out if the villager is smart enough to find the job. By placing a composter in this corner, and then a villager in this corner, we can find out whether he's smart enough. And in a matter of 10 seconds, we found that he can already become a farmer. Which, to me, is ridiculous because he never gives me the traits I want. Look at these two blocks. Do you see a difference? I know I don't. 
You see, Mojang uses the same texture for similar blocks but alters it in some way, and sometimes even the same noise when broken. But to expose it when they try to cover it up like this, by using a stone pressure plate, we can see they're exactly the same texture. Which is pretty clever Mojang, but come on now. This little enchanting trick will save you a ton of levels. You see, when you upgrade your pickaxe in an anvil, it's gonna cost you 5 levels. But if you rename it afterwards, it's gonna cost you an extra 2 levels. But if we combine these together, it only costs 6 levels instead of 7. And in the long run, this will save you a lot of experience. But a lot of people think that the quickest way of breaking blocks by hand is using creative mode. Although this is a smart guess, this is nowhere near the correct answer. Now I know what you're thinking, what about TNT? Well, technically TNT isn't breaking it by hand, and no one has access to 5000 TNT blocks. So what's the solution to this problem? Well, there's no clear-cut answer to this, because in the nether, when you're using an efficiency 5 netherite pickaxe, it gets the job done pretty quickly. However, the same pickaxe on stone is a lot longer than creative mode, so the choice is up to you. Polar bears are a lot more interesting than you think. In their lore, they're actually made because of Jeb's wife. She stated that in their family, if they ever owned a bear, then they will add a bear into Minecraft. And she ended up calling her son Bjorn, which is Swedish for bear. Have you ever wondered how YouTubers fake their hardcore series since you can't allow cheats and the difficulties on hard? It's a lot more simpler than you think. Once you spawn into your hardcore world, click options and go to the open to land section. Once you're in here, change the game mode to creative, allow cheats on, and then start changing your game mode, grab all the items you need, and then just act like that you did this all on survival. Yeah guys, I just did a little bit of mining off camera if you know what I mean. Below me is a pit of over 20 wardens and my friend challenged me to survive for longer than 30 seconds. Luckily, I know this command which will give me over 60 totems of undying in one slot. So now, I can jump off the edge and survive for as long as possible. So next time your friends try to kill you, use this so that it's impossible to die. Next time you're speedrunning Minecraft, build this 2x1 structure to easily cut your time in half. By crouching underneath this 2x1 when TNT goes off, you don't take any damage. This will give you a ton of blocks to use for your speedrun and hopefully you beat your PB. I'm, I'm not too good at speedruns. Fish are one of the funniest mobs in Minecraft. Once you picked out a couple that you don't mind killing, bring them to the slime blocks and you'll find that they start to bounce really high. They bounce so high that they start to actually die and it's pretty sad honestly, it's, it must be a brutal death. Soul sand is actually 25% smaller than the average block, which means we could do some pretty funny stuff with it. By placing any falling block above it, it will be destroyed before it hits the ground. But bloody sake, this works with anvils. This is definitely not meant to be in the game. When you rename a chest in Minecraft using an anvil, you find that the chest UI actually keeps the same name. Even when you break it, it still keeps the same name, and this is unlike any other block in the game. Cats have 9 lives in real life, and in Minecraft this is no myth either. By punching a cat off every single height in Minecraft, we can find that not a single one of them would have took damage. This last fact gets you instantly banned from Minecraft. It happens when you go into this comment section and type how you already knew all the facts already. Oh wait, what? Oh, that was you? Oh wait, then why'd you watch the video then? You know what, why don't you unsubscribe right here? Uh, oh yeah, my life doesn't matter. What about your life? You just spent 30 minutes watching a video that you didn't even get anything out of. Uh, you know what, I'm done with this. I'm done with playing Minecraft today. I'm quitting YouTube forever.